Kevin Feige did recently tease the announcement for the future of the MCU is coming after Far From Home. He was very deliberate to say that's yeah, when so they're going to announce it. so not D23. D23 is out of the question. Yeah, so you think it's San Diego? All San Diego. But, but that's but then you're going to get the question of what are they going to announce everything at San Diego or do I going to announce like a next year? Could you imagine if San Diego they come out on stage and they announce the next entire like three to four years to the next that Avengers be, movie? That would be nuts. <laughs> uh, but then you can imagine on the flip side they come out and go, oh yeah, Black Widow and Eternals, bye. It's just like, oh, we've oh. known that for like a year. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, the, the scrub websites that are going to run the articles don't know, but we're all like. Yo, bro, we've known that since last year. What the hell? And so, yeah, he, he's a logo that would change about five times before the movie comes out. Like, you, you know who's cast anyway because we told the trades. So, right. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I would be really disappointed if their entire announcement is like, so, um, everything you knew was coming. Uh, here, here it is. You're like, well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, say, like, they need, like, one bombshell. Right. Like... They have to do at least half of the slate, surely. My guess would be announce at least the next two to three years because it's like you're yeah. going to have the safe ones. Black Panther 2, Doctor Strange 2. So those are safe. You're not announcing anything like yeah. Fantastic yeah. Four outright, which is probably four years away. So announce at least the next three years you, for you us. Know, like, it's three movies a year, maybe more. We don't know what they're going to be doing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, 2020 has only got two. So you're looking at at least 15 movies, probably. So you could announce seven and then still have stuff for next year at San Diego. Uh -huh. And even this, announcing seven movies, like that's a hell of a lot. That is that is a lot. And it's one of these things where do you think like they could come out there and as part of the slate announcements, do you think they put the TV shows on there because it's Kevin Feige properties? I don't know. Um, that's the thing. Because like, you know, like, we we know that the, the TV stuff are are all in there, but they they never have those with the the movies in the timeline anyway. But it makes sense why the previous ones didn't, right? Like, because it's like... yeah. But at the same time, like, like like people that are seeing the first episode of Shield season six, like that. I'm not going to say the spoilers that they're out there, but it matches up with the movie. So those shows obviously know what's going on, and like the movies tell that. But it's I don't know. It's just a I mean, they, they could very easily talk about those as well. Like, you know, here's five movies, here's the shows that Disney's already talked about. We're going to expand them a bit more. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that could very well. But at the same time, they don't, they, doesn't the TV side have a panel at Comic Con as well? Uh, they usually go to New York, but now it's kind of pointless since they ain't shooting oh, yeah. nothing in New York. <laughs> yeah. I suppose uh, Shields already had the, um, the WonderCon panel as well. Right. So, I mean, maybe they could, like, I don't know. That's, that's a that's a good question. Hmm. They, they, I suppose they could like talk about Loki and Scarlet Witch as well. True. So like, here's some concept art for White Vision, because right, uh, yeah, obviously. So I mean, just looking at the entire next phase for you know, like the potential announcements and all that, and the reveal coming. What's like the one that you think is going to kind of be like the the Inhumans level head scratcher for everybody? Oh, Eternals. Is it Eternals? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, more yeah. Likely. Like, let's be honest. They are inhuman. Like, they are that same category of mutants and inhumans. <laughs> like, they're, they're the weird outward people, you know. They, mutants, yeah, mutants come from the same people anyway. So they, they're in, all in the same category. But it's definitely, like, people have been, they have no idea what Eternals are. No. Like, you had that with Guardians, but people like like me were going, oh, yeah, the Guardians like this. So, you know. But the term was just kind of like, I don't know. I've only read them like six months ago. So, but, um, yeah, that's. If they have anything more Z list like, or like one list, we're now going into numbers because we went out of alphabet, like let lower than Eternals, then I don't know what it is. I mean, remember that rumor that they're looking at Deathlock possibly? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, fun fact there was a Deathlock movie in development in like 2002. I mean, Deathlock. Uh, Feige loves Deathlock. Um... Deathlock and Kazar are two properties Kevin yeah. Feige loves. Dude, I would love a Kazar movie, personally. Here's, like, Here's the thing. Can Kazar and Deathlock hold a movie? I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? With I like, know at this point you shouldn't bank against what they're going to do, but it's just like... Uh. I think Kazar and Deathlock could be Ant-Man level 
money makers. Sm slightly smaller yeah. budget. If you toss Kazar into like the Savage Land, right? Which yes, you... I was going to say. Like to me, Kazar is very much like an X Men supporting character. Right. Toss Kazar into the Savage Land. Team up with a random Avenger and have them riding T Rexes. That movie is Jurassic Park Marvel. It's instant money. Yeah. Right so it's yeah. like. Yeah. I think that um, Deathlock is a little harder sell for me, but then again, it's like, hey, it's a deadly-looking Iron Man robot dude killing stuff. Um, yeah. y y want and, for, it? and for everyone saying that a, a Deathlock movie would wipe S.H.I.E.L.D. out, like, there's more than one Deathlock, and the yep. one on S.H.I.E.L.D. wasn't even in the comics, so no, it wouldn't. Like, all they have to say is it's a S.H.I.E.L.D., an old S.H.I.E.L.D. project, and it doesn't wipe anything out. Got to know it. Now, let's so. be real. The Deathlock in the MCU films is probably going to be female. So, there is also a female Deathlock. They it, just, I think they literally just made it for War of the Realms. It so. would match up with Kevin Feige saying, "Way more female-driven future is coming, and more." St it's like, ah, oh, yeah, we see what you're saying here, <laughs> you know? Like, so it's literally like if you take the old Warner Brothers method of just throwing shit at a wall and seeing what sticks, <laughs> do, do that, but not with poop. Yeah, <laughs> like do that with money and whatever the money sticks on the wall to. Like, there's your new franchise. It's true. It really is. So, um, yeah, that'll wrap it up for that discussion.